with the four left, it's a very ominous presence. That Helmuth is so close to the top of the leaderboard now. Yeah, we're going to get some battles between these three now. We've got Kenny James, Phil Helmuth, and Tony G. We've got some fireworks, eh? Remember, this is a league format. You'll see these players time after time as they try to accrue points for that all-important final table. At the end of the regular season, the top four players go straight to the final table, the middle four and the playoffs, and the bottom four, relegation. KJ has given... 29? He's given Tony G's races a lot of respect. If, if he doesn't move here, Tony's coming with M210s and all that. And if he just calls here and he comes a little flop, Tony's going to win a lot of chips. We're we'll right up there. Pass. Nice folded it. Tough to call a raise with a king queen. Yeah, KJ's Pass. been giving Tony a wide berth all night, let's be fair. Mm -hmm. He really has. It's a. Uh, Oh, here we oh, go, Andy, Andy yeah. Black, and uh, it's just slipping. Ah, come on, come on. Well, it's just me. You guys are all in. Probably the best. So, what did you take? You're all in. There's no. Just your mind. What's no the way? final round? Just trouble for Andy Black. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this play with it. Huh? Do You guys are all in, right? There's yeah. no more action. Yeah, no, no, no. I laid this hand down. 24. I laid that hand down. What is it? 44. Still, ace three's a bit. It's a bit skinny. 14 there, yeah. 14. You lose patience, you think, or? Well, the blinds are big, and Tony G, he's hoping Tony G's got a king eye or something. But let's hope he catches the ace here, because he's played good poker. Not a terrible flop for Black. No. Now a four will get him out of it as well. That's right. Tony G hoping to hold these. No four, no eight. Usually when it comes like this, you catch the wheel here. You usually catch someone when it comes like this, and you catch a few more outs. I've seen it lots of times. About 27 percent. Oh, it's the bullet. Did I say he was going to catch it? <laughs> it's scary what the fish knows about this game. <laughs> And G now drawn to a 10, which he yeah. doesn't catch. Uh, Tony a bit morose here. Yeah. Big double up for Andy Black. Yeah. That's a bad beat. It's uh, pretty normal. Andy Black, an Irish old timer who's burst back onto the scene by cashing over $2 million in the last 18 months. But there's a reason he's called the monk. I got 14th in the World Series in 97. But uh, I, was cr I was so emotionally unstable that I was crushed that I didn't win it. Shortly afterwards, I just quit. There's a lot of funny stories on the internet, and he was in Tibet, you know, and I was thinking, really, wasn't it, you know? Um, no, funnily enough, I, 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 I lived in semi-monastic communities in England. <laughs> that home, that well-known home of Buddhism. I've been a real asshole a lot of times in my life, you know, I've been pretty horrible to people. It was generally a fairly unpleasant character a lot of the time. That whole period really, I think, at least did something to uh, improve my uh, character a bit. I mean, I think I'm a bit less of an asshole than I used to be, and I, I'd say that's the main thing that sort of Buddhism has sort of done for me, you know? It's a lot of time to be careful with your money. In the small yeah. Short stack, Tony G on the button. Big stacks in the blinds. 15,000 to play on black. Yeah. I still f I quietly fancy Andy to win this, still. Gee, does he have any bet besides all in here? Well, 65 all in. <laughs> I was just going to say, we'll go all in with any two cards, and he'd already said all in before I said it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Felmuth can pick up a calling hand here. It could be a bit decisive. Mm. That's good enough. Yeah, he'll call with that, I think. Yeah. Now we need Tony to get lucky, otherwise Phil's running away with it. Yeah, this is big. This is big for every player in this tournament. They'll all be rooting for G right now, but he's 2-1 to one against. Elmuth quietly fancies his hand, though. Jacker 10. Nothing there. Hanging in this thing. He says, don't you have a king in him? I mean, why does he need a king, you know? <laughs> if he called a king, I mean, uh, Tony could catch a straight. I mean, at the moment, he's got him dead, more or less. Wow, look at this, look. Now, he's, now he's, <laughs> he's got four outs now. He can't catch a club. Uh, can you hold for one minute before you turn it? Let me ensure this hand. Tom, we need 60 seconds or less, Marty. That's all. Okay, so you can win with, uh, can't win with the nine, ten, or jack of clubs. You have two tens, two jacks, and three nines. 
It's five seven outs. outs. Seven outs. Good. Seven outs. Seven right. outs. We know of. Um, so I'm uh, about. I'm over about five to one favorite, right? Yeah. I'll take four and a half to one. Ten thousand U.S. dollars to forty-five thousand U.S. dollars. Yes or no? Give us another three seconds. You can have five. Five. Five to one. You can have five. Five thousand. Five thousand. Okay, we're ready. <laughs> five, that's a bet. Helmuth, five thousand. Helmut wants one to give Tony G an advantage and bet five thousand dollars on Tony G catching the nine ten or Jack. Oh, you get five. Wow. So bet that's that's open. Tony doesn't know what he's rooting for now. <laughs> Tony G has just got knocked out of this heat and made $5,000 in the process. But he'll pick up two hands. I don't think Tony G uh, minds too much about the money. He uh, He's going to have to be worried about the fact that he's only got two points through two heats, Dave. Yeah, he's in bad shape now. Looking at the leaderboard now, three ways. Helmuth ominously close to half the chips in play. And uh, blinds big enough so that black is going to be backed into a corner pretty soon. I'm not very good, was it? <laughs> I mean, it's about two points, so really bad. This level has been dirt. And here comes Andy Black. How much does he like all those? Re-raise Re from KJ. K KQ. Uh, wow. <laughs> KJ with a KQ. Philip probably wake up with two aces here. Oh. Yeah? oh no. He's got one of Kenna's kings. And a big decision for Andy. It's about a third of his stack. Call? Call? He's called. That's a great call, Dave. Wow. What did Andy decide? He did not want to leave him behind. You know, Andy's Irish. They don't always, they don't always have to decide. They just, <laughs> they just say it. <laughs> It's a good call. You I gotta hope, have heart, I baby. Heart. Good call, Andy. I hope Andy wins it. Andy didn't think about it too long. He's ahead, about 11% worth, and this is a huge pot. It'll take him the chip lead. Although Black is all in. KJ says, "Give me something." Well, actually, when I said, I mean, I don't, I don't really mind who wins it, but put a jack up there, make it interesting. <laughs> KJ went out third in his first heat. He'll be down to six points. If he goes out third here, although he's not all in, but he will be short stacked if Black can make these. Oh, there's the oh, queen! That's terrible for Andy, yeah. And Black down to three cards. He made a good call. Just unlucky. Oh, oh wow. baby, the luck of that. <laughs> this only happens on television. I've never seen this happen in a cash game, have you? No, but it, I mean, uh, <laughs> it is a bit unlucky for Kenny That's James as well. That's the second time in as many heats that the ace has come post-flop to shatter his big pair. Worst to first to worst again. Ooh. Black flopped the ace high. You see, the, you know what? Phil almost loving this, you know? Because Phil wants to play Andy Black heads up because he, 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 he doesn't want to play Kenny James, you know? They've got a lot of history. But he doesn't know that Andy Black is quite a, an aggressive player, actually. Andy is sitting back in his chair, hands on his head. He's nearly stunned. That's 107 for sure. I mean, uh, what we just saw there, Dave, uh, you know, I know it's early in this tournament, but... It, 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 it could have been a hand that decides uh, who goes forward to the final table and who gets relegated. A, a switch of about three uh, three points, a six-point turnaround. Yeah, it's a, it's a scary game, this poker. It's certainly not for the faint-hearted. KJ, of course, still in, but uh, he's going to be uh, shorter than a, well, a pancake roll, really. How do you make a pancake roll? Take it to the top of the hill and let go. <laughs> What's got under the legs and no teeth? What? In the front row of a Cliff Richard concert. <laughs> Just wanted to get that one on the TV. I love that. Too. Six more hands. Thank you. KJ asking how many hands are left in this level. 7.15 to 10.20. But really, he pretty much has to go in with any two here. He's only got 45 or so thousand. I mean, he can actually make a raise here that uh, he could make force the others to fold. Yeah, he's he's going to go all, all in left. here for definite. Now, what's Phil going to wake up with? 
I think Phil's got an issue. I've just got a suspicion of it. Let's have a look at your hand, Phil. Come on. He's probably got about a seven dose, make me wrong. Okay, I haven't looked at my hand yet. Just well, yeah, nobody's looked at your hand yet, Phil. Come on, I've got a feeling you've got an ace there, though. Well, look, you may have like nine dudes.